Suicide Squad was one of the highest-grossing releases of 2016, setting a new record for the best-ever opening weekend in August and going on to earn $745 million worldwide. Critics, however, tore it apart, calling it, quote, slipshod and a patched-together mess, among other things. So how sloppy is Suicide Squad? Here are just a few examples. Worst part of it is they're going to blame us for the whole thing. Name Changer Near the start of the film, a character clearly identified as Admiral McKenzie isn't sold on the idea of Task Force X. Or is it Admiral Olsen? Ted Whittle's character wears a name tag identifying him as McKenzie, which can be seen several times throughout the scene. But bizarrely, when the end credits roll, his character is listed as Admiral Olsen. It was a nice touch to bring Whittle on board. Hardcore DC fans will remember him as Suicide Squad leader Rick Flagg in the final season of Smallville. But the confusion over his character's name shows how little importance he actually had in the script. Traveling Light After extorting his client for an extra million dollars and carrying out a near-impossible hit, Deadshot makes his escape by jumping over the edge of the building and rappelling down the wall. But before he makes a run for it, he grabs his big bag of high-tech gear. But what happens next sticks out like a sore thumb once you know about it. The rucksack he scoops up as he sprints for the ledge is nowhere to be seen while he's actually descending. It just disappears into thin air. That's how I cut and run. Kitty Pool When the Joker dives headfirst into the same vat of chemicals as his beloved Harley Quinn, there's something off about the staging. Would you die for me? Yes. We see from other shots of the vats, and shots from below the surface of the chemicals, that the containers are pretty deep. It's definitely deep enough for a person to jump into it from a great height and not be killed. That's too easy. Will you... Would you live for me? Yet, after the Joker jumps in to rescue Quinn, he's able to cradle her in his arms and kiss her while standing still, which is impossible. Unless he suddenly developed Aquaman-like swimming powers. <laughs> Magic Highlights Harley Quinn is captured by Batman when a sports car she's in, driven by the Joker, goes crashing into the harbor. Wanting to take them both alive, the Cape Crusader goes in after them, where he finds the Joker missing and Quinn unconscious. Stupid bats, you're ruining date night! Underwater, Quinn's hair is entirely blonde free from the pink and blue highlights she sports for the majority of the movie. After Batman pulls her from the water, however, the highlights inexplicably return. Moon's Mistakes June Moon is an archaeologist who finds a totem containing an evil spirit in an ancient Peruvian temple and is possessed by it, becoming the Enchantress. In one scene, Enchantress obtains a binder from the weapons ministry vault in Tehran. Written in Persian script, it should open and be read right to left instead of left to right but Suicide Squad gets it backwards. In a later scene, we can see Moon is holding a beer bottle in her hand as she fiddles with Rick Flagg's shirt. The angle changes as Moon leans in for a kiss, and now the bottle is somehow in his hand. I saw it move. Elevator Edits During an error-laden elevator ascent, Harley Quinn is attacked by one of Enchantress's foot soldiers, who drops down into the elevator by removing a panel in the ceiling. Quinn dispatches it with a bullet to the head, and then a second attacker smashes through the window. Two glaring mistakes follow. First, the body of the creature she shot dead seconds earlier just vanishes. Then, during the second fight, Quinn runs up the wall and flips over her assailant, and when she does, we get a shot of the elevator ceiling. The panel that was removed moments ago is now back in place. A bad day at the office for the editing team. Peeping Toms there is another Harley Quinn-related goof during the scene in which the squad get out of their prison rags and get suited up. As she slips into something a little more comfortable, the camera pans up Margot Robbie's body slowly as if to mimic the leering of men nearby. Hardly anyone is around Quinn as she squeezes into her daddy's little monster t-shirt, yet in the next shot, she's suddenly surrounded by gawking men. A funny reveal, but it makes zero sense. What? Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.